This video is meant to introduce you to animal integration in order to understand why animals are important to be added to our permaculture system. The example here is beekeeping and bee integration. Bees are natural pollinators. They pollinate many of our fruit and vegetable plants, as well as our trees. Without them, we wouldn't have a majority of our food source. I am going to present to you why beekeeping and bee integration into your permaculture system is very important and can help you maximize your yields. The first component of this video will be about why beekeeping should be integrated into your vegetable and fruit production systems. The second component will be an actual video of how to extract honey from a beehive. This will focus on our stacking of functions principle because beekeeping is not only increasing the biodiversity of your vegetables, but is also a food source. That being said, bees pollinate a third of our food source, and they pollinate over 90 different varieties of edible flowering fruits and vegetables. Here's a list of some of the things that honeybees pollinate. Avocado trees, zucchini, summer squash, all different types of squash, okra, fennel, persimmon trees, quince trees, strawberries, cashews, coffee plants, lemon trees, lime trees, orange trees, cantaloupe, apple trees, sweet cherries and sour cherries, plums, almonds, boysenberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, pear, clover, vetch, and many more. Needless to say, these bees provide a very significant service to us. Now we will learn about how to extract honey and how beekeeping can not only increase the amount of vegetables that we can grow in our garden, but it can also be a profitable food source. Honey extraction is a process of beekeeping that has been going on for hundreds of years. Extracting the honey and producing a product is one of the main purposes of keeping bees. This here is a hive from one of our beekeepers here at College of Lake County. This is the extractor. Once frames are removed from the beehive, you will use some sort of tool to uncap the beeswax or the capping wax. In this image, our beekeeper, Ed Poplica, is uncapping the wax with an electric knife. He uncaps the entire frame so that the honey can freely come out of that frame. The next step is to place the frame within the extractor. The extractor is a metal bin that has a handle and a cage inside of it. The cage acts as a centrifuge and when you turn the handle the honey comes out and falls into the bin. But every hive is not the same. In this next segment, we will see a hive with frames that were filled with a lot of bee pollen. 
pollen being in there. Well, the, the thing is, is now that it's so packed with pollen, it's stuck in there. They can't lay babies. Now, that would have been their food source for the winter, right? That would have been some of their food source for the babies. Not for the winter, but when the babies start in February. That's with all the pollen. The pollen's for baby bees is the whole purpose of that bee food. Baby bee food is the pollen. Honey, as well as bee pollen are both food sources that can be consumed or sold in a permaculture type system. They preserve very well and they are helpful for many people's allergies. Please keep both components of this video in mind during our animal integration unit.